But now I'm back from outer space. I'm here. What's up, dude? Dude, dude. Dude. What's up? <laughs> eh, we ain't doing nothing. <clears throat> Everybody over there is sequestered and confined to quarters. Locked in their house. What's up, James, Luciano, Adele? Since everybody over there is captivated, I thought I would take advantage of the captive audience and help you pass some of your time. Maybe even have some fun doing it. What do you think about that? Huh, 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 what? Huh, 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 what do you think? What do you think? So, Grandpa Nuke was just talking. Hey, Stephen, how's it going, buddy? So Grandpa Nuke was just talking about how many challenges he's done. He just can't wait to tell everybody how many challenges he's done. He's done 5,000 chugs, 18,000 Moabs, uh, more chili peppers than they ever grew. I mean, he just loaded with challenges. So I thought, you know what? I can't let him run off into the distance on in, in points, uh, nuke points, uh, without giving uh, an, a proper chase, all right? Now, I may not be able to catch up with him, but he gonna know I'm huffing and puffing right behind him. I'm gonna come and get him. I'm coming to get him. I'm gonna get mine. I'm gonna get mine, Grandpa Nuke. I'm gonna get mine. I'm over it. Whew. For a second there, I thought maybe my medication had wore off, but it hadn't. So, I don't know what to do, but I do know I have one of these. And I know Grandpa Nuke loves these. He can't get enough of these. Grandpa Nuke, look what I got. Uh-huh. You ain't got one, do you? Uh-uh. No, you don't. You know why? Because I got it. Mm. How's that, buddy? <laughs> so, I think what I'm going to do... I've got that too. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm not prepared mentally or physically for the burden I'm about to place upon myself. So it's just a mental thing. But I think I'm going to go ahead on and take my time, but not all day. I know James is wanting me to watch Gone with the Wind while I consume the, this uh, Moab bar. But, you know, I'm not going to take all day. And I know everything is backwards, but this is so I can see your faces and comments. Hey, Lee, what's going on, buddies? Yeah, somebody better tag Stu. I know he's got to work tomorrow. i got to work tomorrow myself. So, ladies and gentlemen, I know you can't see it, but here is a Moab bar. Unaltered, unedited, unadulterated, Pure, 100%, full screen, live techno color, Moab bar. Now, I'm going to take this here bar, and I'm going to break it up into some pieces. There are eight squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight squares. Now, it takes me, on average, about four and a half hours to eat one square. But I'm going to try to expedite this process. That's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to start by breaking it up into eight individual squares. They're not going to be perfect squares. They're going to be like funky shaped squares because these don't just break easily. So this thing has been kept at room temperature since I got it in the mail. You can tell it's not melted or microwaved or laid out in the hot sun, sitting on the dash of my car. Ain't no shenanigans going on here. We take our challenges very, very seriously here at Nukes. And cheating is frowned upon and not approved of. This thing is just crumbling into like shards. 
That's the only way I can describe it. It's like, but I will give it credit for this. This must be a fresh bar because for the most part, it, well, for the most part, but it looks like the caramel is actually staying inside the chocolate. Whereas last time, it wasn't. Last time I would pull it out and the caramel just came out in one big old long sheet. And now I was forced to eat it like that. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead on and do this and get my little chocolate pieces up here off the table. Just because I know every little piece counts. And I want to get full credit for completing a Moab bar. <clears throat> so, is everybody ready to begin? There's one piece right here. See? One piece. One. Uno. In German, that's eins. Eine. Eins. Korean, I think it's Hana. Hana. Okay. So, anyways. <sighs> Yea, do I walk to the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no more at ball. You ain't got no power over me. You ain't got none. You can burn me, and I'm going to eat you anyway. You can be big. You can get bigger. I'm going to eat you anyway. You going down, sucker. Tell me, I got to put it in its place right quick, you know. Then I got to go visit my dentist. Of course I can do this, Luciano. Roger! Hey, buddy. What's going on? Love you. I'm going to do the Moab bar, but you know what else I might do? I might do one of these. You never know. I would be the first nuke to do one of these and one of these. So we're going to find out. But I got to go visit my dentist. So one smile with, with my teeth. Get my pretty face going. My Moab face for the League of Fire picture. Okay. Here we go. Are we ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be good. Mm. 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 There's a little heat to it, which I'm not used to from a Moab bar. Kind of strange. Mm. 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 He's on a laptop. That means he can't type. But he's old school. He used to chiseling his stone, chiseling stone. This Moab has got to be fresh because it's noticeably hotter than the previous Moabs that I've had. It's kind of weird. The others didn't had very, very little heat. Oh well, I can't do that. I can't bite it. I can just tear it into pieces. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Mmm. You know what? This chocolate is still hard as a rock. It'll melt eventually. The enzymes within the saliva that is excessively produced by having something in your mouth and the masticating process of your jaws causes the chocolates to break down a little bit at a time, helping the digestive system. If you didn't know how that worked, now you know. You know, me being at a slight physical disadvantage makes some of these challenges a bit tougher than they need to be. I have to endure the burn a lot longer than the average person because I'm at a slight disadvantage. I was going to do the Cherry Nightmare, but I got to thinking about the heat from it. And I need to build my tolerance up a little bit. And I thought the Moab would be a great start. Do the Moab, maybe the hot bites. Knock out some chocolate plague. Mmm, this is so good. Mmm, tasty. Mmm. 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 This is really good. So 11 people started, now we're down to 8. That's alright. Jeremy, what's up, buddy? 
Adele the Brave. Grandpa Stu can't get no more web. Can't see comments on here. Uh-huh. That's all right. You don't need to see no comments to know that I'm about to whoop your butt up on the Moab bars. Mm-hmm. I got access to these. I can't get no Inception sauce, but I can get some Moab bars. They make them right up there in Connecticut. About, I want to say 870, almost 900 miles away. But they make them up there. Mm. Hey, Roger. How do you like this, buddy? Up there in the corner. Mm-hmm. But the editor is watching. Hmm. So, anybody have any questions while I'm eating this thing? While I'm trying to eat it? <laughs> anybody? I got seven squares left to go. Mm, that's hard. Hard. Luciano commenting on my post. What post? I can't see the comment. I can't see that part. Mm. But this got to be continuous video for me to get the credit for it. Mm. This is so good. Yeah, this one is fresh. Er. Hey, Roger, as soon as you get one made up that I can download, I'll use it. I haven't been to that part of your um, website yet to look and see if you came out with a new one or not. But I'll look when I get done. I'll gladly look. I'll try to put one in this corner and one in that corner. I'll use them both. Hmm. Yeah, this Moab's a little hotter, a little bit hotter than I'm used to for Moab. Ain't unbearable. It's just, you know, it's a Moab bar. Now we've got nine people. And we're about to drop a couple more. Everybody got to go to bed over there. He, Jeremy, loves the gold Moab bar. You know, I haven't had a gold one yet. Kaylee was saying it tasted like a Moab. I don't know. I mean, I know one's made with white chocolate, but I don't know if there's any difference between the two or not. Look at this big old chunk of caramel. Look at that. Look, look, look at that. It looks like it's alive. Like it's trying to crawl away from me. Like it don't want me to eat it. But you know what I'm going to do to it? I'm going to try to eat it. It's gone. Ooh, it's wiggling in my mouth. It feel like a worm or something crawling around up in there. But well, it's gone. Times is hard. People hungry. Ain't got no toilet paper. Can't get no food. You know it's got in the yard. Do, do, do some digging. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. Mmm. Are you going to break your slowest Moab record? You know what? They got somebody came up behind me that's underneath me that is actually last on that table. And I know I got the slowest time. But they put him below me and I wanted to be dead last. I think I might beat my slowest time. I'm not trying to set a new slowest time. But if I happen to set a new slower time, I will. But I'm not going for it. I'm just trying to eat a Moab bar and entertain people while I'm doing it. Mm. I got some Moab on my finger. I got it off, though. Don't tell nobody I can suck my finger like that, because mm, we don't want that getting out. Mm. Look at there. Another piece of karma. Trying to crawl away. Look like me when on my date the other night. Just kind of like, ooh, had to go home. That's all I'm going to say about that. Hmm. 
Mm. We went down to nine people. Loyalists. I wonder, anybody got any questions, anything they want to talk about? I need some help. I need some stimulation. I mean, it's hard for me to sit here for how long and, you know, try to think of stuff to say. Oh, my, oh wait a minute. What, what was the... You just eat one square per day, 192 hours. Hmm. That would be impressive if you went without any liquid any liquid relief in the process there. Made it continuous. That'd be that would be impressive. I saw this guy on, on Facebook doing a <coughs> excuse me. He was using a baby voice, high squeaky baby voice, doing his challenges, and I thought about doing that. <coughs> Excuse me. These things are a little bit warmer than normal. Uh, I don't need the Nemesis at 2.0. I can tell you that right now. Mm-mm. Nemesis 1.0 is just dang hot enough. I can't finish it. It's hot. It's hot. It's really hot. It's too much for me. I think if I could eat it normal in the time limit of allowed, I could probably handle it. Because I could get it in, get it down, ride the wave until the end of the time, and then I'd be happy with it. But... Because I have to eat them the way I have to eat them, it's just too much suffering, man. It's just too much suffering. Too much. My brain, I couldn't overcome it. And it don't help when every time you open your eyes, they're on fire because the fresh air came in and just fueled the, fueled the flames. Mm -mm. That booger was hot. I can see the nemesis now. He probably had his cell phone sitting on the loo watching me do a mo and do a nemesis bar. He's probably laughing at me the whole time. Oh, we lost another viewer. Hey, if you gotta go, you gotta go. You got stuff to do? Go do it. I'm just gonna make sure this is continuous and live. I need to slide this back a little bit so y'all can maybe see the see the Moab bar on the table. Let me slide my phone down or something. You know, there, there you go. There, what? There, there it is. Okay. That way y'all know I ain't cheating. Hmm. Hmm. Hey Amen. Those cap tears are hot too. One thing I didn't know about the capsaicin. So, I knew when I started out, everybody talked about the burning ring of fire. Okay, cool. That's true, it happens. Sometimes you get the fire hose. That happens. What I didn't know happened is when you're making love. What happens then? I did not expect that. It added a level of heat to the situation, should I say? If you can't hear me, let me know. I'll turn me, I'll turn it up. I think I'm going to go with this piece. Because it's got caramel hanging out of it. I'm still going to get the other one. This one just kind of like open like that. <laughs> oh. Oh, that went down the wrong hole. Mm.
I ain't going anywhere, Dale. Go do what you got to do. I'll be right here. You, every one of them could leave. I'm going to be right here talking to myself. Just being me. Wear my nuke shirt. Got my hot dang show flashing going on behind me. Got my tail of the dragon that I ran. Got it behind me. That tail of the dragon is a fun road to drive on. You got to do that at least once in your lifetime. Hmm. Well, good. Uncle Stu, uh, Grandpa Nuke Stu's um, volume is working. He can hear me. That's a good thing. He need to listen. I ain't got nothing to say, but he need to listen anyway. Slow down. You know what, Roger? How long is your nap usually for? And I will make this Moab last the whole time. As long as it's within reason. If I take a nap, it's 30 to 45 minutes. But I'm willing to do that for you, buddy. Because I love you. I sit right here and just burn for you. Now she's back. Welcome back, Edda. Edda the Axe Lady. Oh my God, this is so hot. I can't believe I'm eating it. Oh my. Power that 10 minutes. Take the 20 more. We're good. We still got four and a half squares to go. And these things don't melt as fast as they used to. These are the best chocolate bars I've ever had. I don't want him getting a shout out on my on my new speed. Shoot. In my new speed. I feel like I'm goofy. I don't know. Who should I talk like? Y'all give me some inspiration here, man. I know you're here to support me. And I appreciate it. Hmm. Mm. Sean Watson, I should try to grab Rummy Bear. Those little uh, nitro bears I did, they they were warm, but they're only nine minutes school with it. They were the exact same heat as the uh, toe of Satan, so I got to sneeze. Oh my god, that burned. Capsaicin in my mouth went up into my sinuses. Wow. Ooh, that's hot. Whew. That's gonna burn for an hour, I know. This is making me cry because it went up into my tear duct kind of thing here. Wow. Don't sneeze while you're doing a challenge is all I can tell you. Wow, that got hot quick. Mm. Oh, good, that quit burning. Thank God. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Uh oh, be down to seven people. There might be a prize in it if everybody leave but one person. Whoever stuck around might win something. You never know what I'm gonna do. I got another one right here. <clears throat> you can still see that. Okay. <coughs> Sound like a baby dinosaur. <coughs> Mm. Yeah, karma's really sticking with me this time. Mm. Mm. They're really good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. One of them came back. Mm. Mm, let's try something. Let's see what this does. Um, oh, let's try that. Oh, oh, hi, I got hearts. Okay, let's try something else. Mm, party favors. That works. Cool day. Ah. Nah. Do it again. Ah. enough of that. How do I get rid of it? That's the question. Let me scroll back to none. There we go. Get rid of you. You're right, Grandpa Nuke. First come, first serve. I'm going to get mine. You beat me on the chugs. You got me there. But I'll sit here and do Moab for 24 hours straight. Make sure I get up, up ahead of you. Mm. I'm going to get mine on them Moab bars. You tried to be, you got, you got, you got ahead of me on the power curve there with the chugs. I didn't expect you to go like that. I got my eye on you now. I got four eyes and every one of them looking at you. Mm-hmm. See you running up the ladder of success. Leave me back here. Mm-mm. Not mm. I'm gonna run up after you. Mm. Mm. Stephen Dixon. Just cracked open the chocolate plague. Woohoo! Did you do it live? Come on, Steven, please tell me you did a video, man. I gotta watch you do that. That's good stuff, man. Tracy? Especially Tracy? Is weirder? Huh? What I miss? Oh yeah, it don't taste good at all, Stephen. But it's hot. It's an excellent trainer, man. Excellent trainer. I, I should have used it to train for my nemesis bar, but I didn't have any at the time, I don't think. But what I do to train to get used to that burn, 
It's all poor like chocolate plague and Scott's bonnet. Uh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, I got some bonnet sauce in there. And I'll mix the two of them together and just pour, pour, put it in my mouth and like hold it in there and just swish it around and just hold it in my mouth and get a full-on burn going from it. And that'll help me get used to the heat for the Nemesis bar. I get used to that burn and learn how to control it. Mm. You know, I still got four, I still got four squares left, James. <laughs> oh, look at me, I'm a bubblehead dog. <laughs> hey, Claire. You come to watch me whoop up on Grandpa Nuke? Mm-hmm. That's me. That's what I'm doing. She told me to walk this way. Talk this way. <laughs> Moab. Doesn't that look intimidating? Just an innocent, sweet little chocolate bar. Hmm. I got chocolate on my hat. Waste not wanting it. Mm. Grandpa Nuke is probably on the website trying to order more and more webs as we speak. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't know, Adele. I don't know. Okay, buddy. Have one for me. Make one for me or something. I'm going to be here. I got four more left. <coughs> Look, at that. Look, at that. Look, Look at that. How am I supposed to... Get your booty up there. Ah. <sighs> All American. One hundred USDA. Purple stamp approved. Boom, baby. <laughs> that proved right there. This thing ain't been in the Look at that. Look at how slow it just drew. My fingers is covered in chocolate. Go figure. No, I'm good, Douglas. That's one thing I can say. I 
some of these challenges, the capsaicin cramps come on about 20, 30 minutes into a challenge or something. But the ring of fire, I've, I've never had a problem with. It's never bothered me. <coughs> Excuse me. I do get burps. I do get hiccups. No, I don't have any in my freezer. My freezer is full of chicken and vegetables, ice cream, bread. Some ready cooked meals, ice cubes. I mean, we in the apocalypse. I had to stock up, man. My local store looks like they had a going out of business sale, which is crazy. And they don't know when they're going to get another vehicle, another delivery in. So. Oh, no. Mm. Mm. Cold shot. Mm. We got three squares and some pieces left. We're good. Coming up on 30 minutes. I might get this knocked out in under an hour. I'm sure the auditor, adjudicator of the League of Fire would appreciate that when they review the video to see if I actually did the darn Moab boy. Do I enjoy the taste of the Moab bar? Well, I think it's a relative term to be honest with you. For example, is the Moab good as um, a Lindor chocolate truffle? Nope. Not even close. Is the Moab bar as good as the white, um, the second bar out of the hot bite? Nope. But, the Moab bar is slightly better than that cheap, plastic tasting, never melting, just the cheap canned chocolate that you get on Easter or Christmas that nobody ever likes. It's better than that. About that much. It's obvious that a lot of engineering and chemistry went into the development of the Moab bar. Every now and then I can actually taste the caramel. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I have one of them tough pieces. Don't want to break. Yeah. I'm just going to have to melt it down. It is what it is. Um, do I like the taste? No, not really. But I hate eggs and I hate liver. And this ain't as bad as them, so I'm good. I 
The Johnny Scoville Cherry Nightmare is actually a really good bar. <clears throat> it's not bad at all. It's just, it's hot. It's about half as hot as a Moab. I mean, it's a nemesis, though. That nemesis, it let me up. Well, we're back down to seven people. I'd give you a tour of the house, but there ain't really no need to. Everybody got a house. House is a house. Yeah, the Johnny Scoville bar is the best out of the three for flavor. Now, I haven't tried the Crazy Kimberlin's bar. I haven't tried that one yet. And they sell them on the uh, Hot Dang Show's website. You can get them. Willie Peach, you can get them from there. But I don't know anything about them, so. I got two squares and then some pieces left. Little dab. I had chocolate jewel come out. <laughs> Grandpa Nuke stand for the prize. Well, if nobody else, I mean, you know, I was going to do a challenge at some really weird time of night, your time, just to see if anybody would show up. But if I ever do a video and only one person shows up or if one person's left, I'll think of something to give them. Because they deserve it. No, my jaw is not getting tired yet. One of the benefits of talking as much as I do, you develop very strong muscles in your jaw. And with my distinguished jawline, I got plenty. I'm good. Hmm. I think I'll eat some crumbs. Get some of this chocolate in me. Hmm. Picking up these little chocolate pieces is like picking up termites off the ground and eating them. Little bitty boogers want to get away from you. You got to kind of pinch them to go. In case you were wondering, that's how much I got left. Two squares. A friend of mine, not a friend of mine, a friend of a friend, works at the Inland Port, operates the, over, the cranes for the overseas containers, and 80% of their business comes in from China at the ports. And, of course, things dropped off there for a while because manufacturing in China shut down. 
So, um, but things are turning around. They've started production again in China. <coughs> Excuse me. And it looks like it's probably going to be about six to eight weeks before freight starts coming back into the States. That was weird. Huh. It was weird. Oh well. I ain't dead, so I'm good. Do you think after this Moab you could do two boxes of bikes? Oh, we'll find out. I don't know. I think I would be the first nuke to do a Moab and <coughs> it keeps running up in my sinuses every time I burp. It's like a acid reflux thing going on. Hmm. Like I said, this one must be fresh because None of the other Moabs really got... This one's not hot, really. It's just a nice... This is about a 2 on the heat scale. But it's a consistent, steady burn. And like I said, it's about a 2. Yeah, but I'm already at a disadvantage, James. I got... I got eight ounces of Moab floating around inside my stomach. So I'm at a disadvantage already. I'm not going to say I couldn't do it. I'm just going to say I'm at a disadvantage. Now, I don't like setting myself up for failure. I like to succeed. The only reason I'm doing this Moab challenge is because Grandpa Nuke has been racking them up. And if I don't start trying to catch up with him now, I'll never catch him. He'll get away from me. He keeps saying he wants me up there next to him in the League of Fire. I can't get there. If he keeps running ahead, I'll never catch him. Mm-mm. -mm. I'm not going to do these just for fun, just because I got them. Those are a challenge. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put those to good use. I'm not going to waste them. Mm -mm. Well, I'm not wasting them. I'm not going to do one here, one there, one here, one there. And before you know it, I don't have enough. To do the consecutive hot bikes challenges that I want to do. If I keep nickel and diamond, I'm not doing that. I got 11 of them sitting right here. Literally, right here. They're all right here. And I'm going to put them to good use when I'm getting ready. They ain't going nowhere. Step one, Moab bar. Step two, Johnny Scoville's Cherry Nightmare. Step three, Hot Bites. Or the Toe of Satan again. I kind of enjoyed that, the Toe of Satan. It wasn't hard at all. It gave me cramps about 30 minutes into it, after the fact. Yeah, cramps lasted about 30 minutes. And then I had two endorphin rushes from it. The first one was a pretty good one, and the second one was considerably less, but you could still, you still could feel it. But when the cramps initially started, they were pretty darn painful. 
but they eased up relatively quickly as far as intensity, but they did linger, like I said, about an hour. It just kept coming in little waves. Each wave was a little less than the wave before. The last square. Hmm. Good grief. You can hear the pieces. It sounds like rain. The little chocolate pieces falling off of here. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, no pieces laying around. I'm good. Hey, where'd my heart hot darn show thing go? That ain't cool. Get that back here. I want that back. The frames. Scroll down to the HDS. There we go. There it is. It's back. All right. Sorry, Grandpa. Maybe next time. I'm slow because I can't chew. So I may as well enjoy this. I know it's going to take me a long time to get it down. So there's no rush. I might as well sit back, eat the Moab bar, and enjoy doing it. I just can't eat these things fast. I just can't do it. I have tried. Hey, Drago. Wipe my fingertips off. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, but I got 900 bars to go, Grandpa. You won't slow down. You won't let me catch you. Hey, Vern. I'm just now beginning to feel right here, to, right here, at the top of my stomach. I'm just now starting to feel the first the tiny bit of capsaicin cramps. Just the tiny ones. All done.
I ain't got nothing on my tape to do. Nope. Okay. Well. No. That was fun. I do have a timer right here. It is set for two minutes and one second. Hmm. I'm wondering. I'm wondering, should I go ahead and tackle these or not? I'd be the first nuke to do them. And the Moab at the same time. Back to back. Hmm. I'll think about it for a second. <clears throat> hmm. I got 11. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to wait on it. Not because I can't do it. I just, I, I want to do those right. I got something planned big for those. <clears throat> So, that takes care of the Moab. Love each and every one of you. Appreciate you. I think you're the bomb diggity. And, uh, hope you enjoyed your evening. And I may come back in a few minutes and do these. I may not. Um, I'm obviously going to be okay. So, um, thanks guys for keeping the time. Appreciate you. And, uh, yeah, I hear you, Grandpa. All right, guys. Love you. Hope you have a great evening. Wish some of you lived closer so we could socialize. Uh, you know, that would be great. Go hang out and maintain our social distancing. You know, you sit at that end of the bar. I sit at that end over there. And we wave beers at each other, you know. Hey, how you doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm good. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Love you. Y'all have a great time. Great evening. And uh, I'll catch up with you later. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you.